from Swindon, who was in and out of prison for more than 20 years, is using his experience of drug addiction and violent crime to warn young people. Paul Simmons uses social media to mentor others about how to stay out of trouble. Scott Ellis has been to meet him. Tasha, my girl from Bristol, how are you doing this morning? Twice a day, every day, Paul Simmons mentors addicts of all kinds on social media, live from the kitchen of his council flat in Swindon, now that he is off drugs and at last out of prison. I thought I was going to be lost forever in addiction. I genuinely did. And you can get clean and start living your best life. Colin in Dorset is one of Paul's 13,000 followers. His addiction was cigarettes. And thanks to Paul, he's quit after 50 years. I thought if this man can get people off of heavy drugs, I'm going to listen to him. It's just a light bulb went off in my head. You're building a rapport with them, Paul, yeah. which is what it's about. Paul's also helping the Bristol Rovers Community Trust giving talks to children about the dangers of knife crime and drugs. Paul comes from Lockleys, one of the key areas that we deliver our projects in. Um, he knows the streets of Lockleys. He knows some of the challenges that these young people face. So they really do tend to listen to him as, as somebody that understands the world that they come from. You can turn it around. You can be the best person you want to be. It's Paul's drawing on his own experiences to help others. He was abused as a child. It led to rough sleeping in Bristol, addiction, then violent crime. What's perhaps most shocking is that even behind bars, he could take drugs. A lot of prisons over the years have become lax. They've become the easy route, just let them do what they want. So we don't get, you know, it brings the assaults down, it brings the attacks on staff down. But what it doesn't do is help the people in prison. We asked his local MP in Swindon about why drugs are getting in to some of our prisons. We've got lots of technology like airport style screening and security now that I helped install when I was Justice Secretary, but uh, it is very difficult. Paul gave up drugs four years ago after his partner threatened to leave home with the children. He's now dedicated to mentoring, saying he doesn't want to waste the second half of his life. Scott Ellis, BBC Points West, Swindon.